do has to turn it around. Deputy Speaker, people usually notice when I wear a netball bib, but not at Boorah recently. I was one of a thousand, uh, a thousand people in sporting colours at the school's annual touch footy and netball carnival. The host schools, Boorah Central School and St Joseph's, raised thirteen and a half thousand dollars each after costs. A great result for one day of fundraising. More than 3,000 kids and at least 2,000 supporters from across southern New South Wales and the ACT were at the carnival, now in its 70th year. Now, 70 years of running the same sporting carnival is a pretty impressive achievement. Again, Boorah's show ground was absolutely teeming with colour. 390 teams representing 47 schools played round-robin touch footy and netball games with money raised going to support the local schools. The beauty of this tournament is that there are no trophies. The aim isn't winning, it's about fun, fitness and involvement. It was a delight to meet the kids, and I especially love cheering on the composite touch team from Rye Park Rugby and Wee Jasper, some of the smaller schools in my electorate. The event's success and growth is a tribute to the hard-working members of the committee, including Robert Daniels, Julie Harton, Erin Harris, Paddy Bowling, Brendan Maynard and many others. The support of Borough Council is also tremendous. Congratulations to all of those involved.